Lesson 15. Self-management. Dependency, independence, interdependence. To succeed in life or in business, we must first learn to self-manage. If you are a passive person and always waiting for someone to give you instructions before you make your move, it's time to change that perception. Someone who cannot self-manage won't be given important roles in the company or big deals to handle. Let's do an in-depth study on what self-management is. It's a step-by-step -step transitional growth process. Starting from dependency, independence, and interdependence. Is dependency all that bad? Is it a necessary stage of learning? How can we still do well at the dependency stage? Dependency is a necessary stage we all need to go through. The only question is what you can do during the stage to transit out smoothly and quickly. A baby at the dependent stage needs his parents to take care of him in his everyday life. A new employee needs their immediate supervisor's guidance. One strategy to utilize at this stage is the power of leveraging. It's not the resources that you have that will make you succeed, but rather it's the resourcefulness you have that will. Leveraging is an essential stage of business, no matter how successful your business is right now. It speeds up the process and gives a lot more mileage to achieve things with less time. At the dependent stage, it is alright to leverage on existing systems to help us grow and learn. However, people can become overly dependent on such systems and remain stagnant for many years. A better and a more matured way of thinking would be What are the things I can start doing now to acquire such skills? When would I be able to competently complete this task I have? When I was a newly promoted junior manager, I was constantly curious about the events hmm. my bosses held and had many questions about how and why these programs were executed. I also volunteered to take up portfolios despite it taking up lots of my time and not contributing to my key performance indicator. But I can see this as an opportunity to equip myself with skills so I can become the person I want to be. I punched above my weight class and reached out to a higher appointment instead of waiting for it to happen to me. At the independent stage, we need to be able to start doing things ourselves without any hand-holding. It's the stage where we can execute the ideas we have and deliver results. This is also the turning point to whether a person becomes average or becomes the top in what they are doing. If an independent person chooses to perform their work alone without a team of people, he will eventually come to a plateau point where his work is no longer able to get better. No man is an island. To move from good to great, we need interdependency. Interdependent does not mean that A has to function without the presence of B. It means that with both parties involved, better results will be delivered. Interdependency can multiply ideas, perspective and creativity. Einstein mentioned, to the mind that created the problem, it cannot be resolved by the same mind. Therefore, with the inclusion of another independent person, the equation can multiply exponentially. The more interdependent an organization is, the faster the rate of growth. This will then put the organization to the test of whether each independent individual would give their best at what they are doing and contribute their 100%. If an organization is able to achieve this feat, a company will enjoy exponential growth for years to come. Thank you for joining me in this lesson. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And also follow me on all my social media platforms here. And I'll see you in the next one.